I'm learning. Every morning, uh, the first thing that I start out with is either going to be a run or a workout. And today, it's going to be a run. It's hard not waking up. It's 6 a.m. I mean, you get a good sweat like this, and you get a crazy good view like this. Now it's about time to turn around. So let's get going. And we're back. Now it's time for my favorite part, oatmeal. All right, that's the uh, famous oatmeal. I actually do two other things as I eat my oatmeal. Those two things is gonna be listening to a podcast and then finish up stretching uh, from my run. So that's what I'm about to do. This view you're about to see is what I get every single morning. Pretty cool, right? I really only allow about 20 minutes to eat, stretch, and listen to my podcast. And uh, I listen to podcasts on double speed, so that's just how I'm able to get through a, a longer podcast during that time. If, if I've done everything right, it should be 7.30 and I've worked out, I've eaten breakfast, I've stretched, and I've listened to a podcast. What I'm going to do right now is shower. It's so sad I wear black till you decide to come back. I want to see you so much. I want to see you. After my shower, I'm going back down to the water, that sweet spot where I'm going to go ahead and begin my meditation, my reading, my journaling, affirmations, and visualization. Those five things, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'll go ahead and walk you through everything. If it's if it's eight o'clock, we are right on time. All right, let's get going. This is where I meditate when it's low tide in the morning. 
when I meditate, my goal is to really just lose myself in my breath and my body, to forget where I am and forget my surroundings. What I then do is take a tour of my body. I feel everything inside and outside of my body. I feel my chest rising and falling, the air filling my lungs. I relax my shoulders because I always tense them. I straighten my back, lower my heart rate. I relax every part of my body and focus on my breath. One book, one planner, one notebook for notes while I read, and one journal. Creative Ink right now is the book that I'm reading. Really good. It's about the startup of Pixar overcoming the obstacles of inspiration. This right here is my notebook for notes while I read. In it are a couple hundred notes from a few dozens of books. I'll either read my book or I'll review my book notes for about 10 to 15 minutes. I always put the date because whether it's two months or 20 years down the road, I want to be able to look back at that specific time in my life. Every time I journal, I start with three things I'm grateful for. Today, I'm grateful for the beautiful trees in our backyard, my trusty water bottle I've had for several years, and then the neighbors I get to hang out with every week. My rule of commitment is really only the gratitude. If I don't have anything else to write, I don't write. I tend to journal about emotions and ideas and attempt to really just unravel them, coming to better conclusions or original ideas. I tell myself three affirmations every day. The first one is, I seek discomfort because I know I will have a more fulfilled life because of it. I seek discomfort because I know I'll have a more fulfilled life because of it. The second one, I go out of my way to help others desiring nothing in return. I go out of my way to help others desiring nothing in return. And then number three, I am intentional with my time and I'm very careful not to waste it. I am very intentional with my time and very careful not to waste it. I truly believe affirmations to be one of the most important parts of my morning. I tell myself each one several times as I picture past and future experiences of that affirmation. If you do this, this will for sure deepen your subconscious belief roots much, much faster. I find myself more creative when I visualize to music, so my visualization only lasts really about one to two songs. And when I visualize, I visualize about the person I want to become in the life I want to live. A great way to start is by just picking one thing you want. It could be a skill, a habit, a boat, an experience, anything. And then visualize a situation where you have that one thing. Is it a sailing trip to Bermuda? Or talking confidently to women at a bar? Or doing a habit you desire? Visualize yourself in first person doing it. Imagine everyone is envious of that one thing because it is just so freaking cool. This always just makes me smile because I begin to think about who I know I will become in the future. If everything has gone smoothly, it should be 8.30. If I ever finish before 9, I really have just some extra time to do some more reading, relax, plan my day, or even start work early. So that's my morning routine. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for it. I'm always trying to perfect it. So leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you all about it and see how we can just all help each other. This is a community. That's what this channel is about, improving ourselves. Till Monday, be good. And